Hello everyone. Today's topic is projection of planes in engineering drawing. I mean the introduction in the previous classes we have discussed about projection of points and then we went to the projection of lines. Projection of planes is nothing but improvement from the projection of lines. So mainly coming to the projection of planes, projection of planes is a two-dimensional object having length and breadth. And in this projection of solids, we neglect the thickness of the planes. Okay. Mainly we have coming to the planes, the main are square, pentagon, hexagon, circle, equilateral triangle, right angle triangle, rectangle. So these are some of the main planes which we will be dealing in this chapter. Okay, then what are the different types of Till now we have discussed different types of plane figures or shapes which we are going to deal now. We will see what are the different types of planes we, he, we use in the drawing. These are mainly perpendicular planes, oblique planes. So perpendicular planes are which, have, which are perpendicular to the surface, which are plane surface and oblique planes are, which are in which the surface are inclined to both different things. Like oblique planes are mainly used in uh, figures which figures where we mention that it is inclined to both HP and VP are inclined to HP or inclined to VP. Okay. Coming to the trace in where the line of interaction and meeting of the plane surface with the reference plane is known as trace. Simply the intersection line of the plane with HP is for horizontal trace. That of VP is, is called the vertical trace. Yeah. Then the plane figure is positioned with reference to the reference planes by referring each surface in the following possible positions. Okay. Then we will now discuss how many types of possible positions the surfaces can be seen. Okay. Coming to that. Mainly we deal with six types. First is Surface of the plane parallel to HP, surface of the plane parallel to VP, surface of the plane inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, and fourth one, surface of the plane inclined to the VP and perpendicular to HP, fifth one, surface of the plane perpendicular to both HP and VP. Then, surface of the plane is inclined to both HP and VP. These are the six conditions which we will be discussing. And which are mainly used in our topics to do the diagrams. Now, first of all, we will see from first. First one surface the plane parallel to HP and perpendicular to HP. In the figure, we can see. Remember one thing in the planes, the following plane AB, C, AB. B, C, C, D, D, A are called sides. Okay. So we can see and complete this is called a surface. Now we can see that the surface A, B, C, D is parallel to HP and side A, A, B or B, C is perpendicular to V, P. So when you see a Surface from the top position, we will be getting exact replica of the figure in this case. So now, in this figure, you can observe that this figure is being replicated on the HP, which will be top view for the surface. And when coming to front view, it will be a line because the plane or the surface is inclined or perpendicular to the VP. So we will be getting a line like. Remember, as we are aware that the points in the front view are represented with the dash, so that the same a dash, b dash, c dash, d dash, and the points in the HP are rep uh, represented without any dashes. That is a, b, c, d. This is the main. Then we will go for surface. Of the plane parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. In this case, this is exactly the opposite of the first case. You can see the surface is parallel to VP and the 
sides are perpendicular to HP, or we can also say the surface is perpendicular to HP. In this case, the exact vaginal shape is being shown in the VP, that is front view, and the line will be shown in top view because we will be viewing from this. We can see the the as it is per, surface is perpendicular to HP. Only the end lines will be observed on this. Okay. Yeah. And rest of the three topics we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.